Good day, everyone. My name is Sean Kozel, and today I'm going to show you how to use the generative fill in Adobe Photoshop Beta. If you need to download the Photoshop Beta, open your Creative Cloud app on your desktop. Under the tab Apps at the top, you will see Get the Photoshop Beta app, banner, and button. If you do not see this, scroll down on the left side to Beta Apps and select it. Next, find the Photoshop Beta and select Install. Once Photoshop Beta is installed and opened, open an image. Near the bottom center, you will see the new contextual taskbar. By default, the bar is a free-floating taskbar that follows your actions around the canvas. If I hit T for the text tool and insert a text field, the bar will snap to the bottom of your text. Let's delete the text. You can move the contextual taskbar by clicking here and dragging it. These three dots are the taskbar options. You can hide the bar by clicking Hide Bar. The bar can be found under Window, Contextual Taskbar to show it again. You can reset bar position and the bar will snap to the bottom center of your canvas. Or you can pin the bar to a location on your workspace. Now let's take a look at Generative Fill in Photoshop Beta. To begin, you need to make a selection. You can use any selection tool in Photoshop. The Rectangular Marquee Tool, Elliptical Marquee Tool, Lasso Tool, or any other way to make a selection in Photoshop. There are many. If you want to use a brush to make a selection, you would use the Quick Mask Mode by clicking here or hitting the shortcut key Q. Double-clicking on the Quick Mask Tool opens the Options panel. By default, Color indicates masked areas will be selected. For this to work like Firefly, select Selected Areas and you can choose a color you would like or keep the default red color. Now, when you enter Quick Mask Mode by hitting Q, start painting the area you wish to select and hit the letter Q to leave Quick Mask Mode and the area you painted will be selected. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect the area or click Deselect on the taskbar. I'm going to grab the lasso tool and make a selection. On the taskbar, you have your selection option. Invert selection, transform selection, make a mask, add an adjustment layer, and fill options. Or you can deselect the selection. With this selection made, you will see the Generative Fill button. Click on it, and a text field box will appear. Type in your prompt and hit Generate. Photoshop has generated three options for you and created a generative layer with a mask in your Layers panel. You can click through the options in the Taskbar or use the Properties panel. You can rate the image by using the thumbs up or thumbs down option or flag the image if needed from here. In the Properties panel, you can also change the prompt or generate more options. All your options are saved within the generative layer, so if you ever need to return to your image to change or select another option, they are there for you. Now let's talk about expanding your canvas using Generative Fill. Hit the letter C for the Crop Tool. Expand your canvas. Holding Option and dragging from a corner will expand it from the center. Hit the check mark at the top center or hit Enter. Grabbing the Rectangular Marquee Tool, I will make a selection. Making sure to select a bit of the image, I will click the Generative Fill button at the taskbar. At this point, I will not type in a prompt and let Photoshop use the information from the original image to fill the selection by hitting Generate. I recommend doing this part in steps because Photoshop generates a max size of 1024 by 1024 pixels at a time, and it will stretch the image to fit your selection. I will continue doing this three more times 
filling the transparent areas. And there you go, canvas expanded and filled. If you found this helpful, subscribe and thank you for watching and have fun generating an Adobe Photoshop beta. Goodbye for now.